Okay, guys, right now it's uh, just a little past 5 a.m. CG Vinyl Studio, <clears throat> and we are going through printing some orders for today already. And you can see here, we've got a Made in America, real popular. And right now that Epson's just killing it as far as laying down that, that ink. And again, if we come up here, like I've said before, numerous videos, this substrate, regardless of what inkjet printer you're using, you will get very, very similar results. Uh, the biggest thing here to keep in mind is the fact that you want to make sure you're going to use the proper overlaminate. A lot of our clients think you just instantly take inkjet printable material and you can go outside and it's going to last outside. It doesn't work that way. The vinyl itself, be it any vinyl, is actually waterproof and weatherproof. However, when you're dealing with inkjet substrates, <clears throat> all of your inks are technically based on water. Therefore, if you just leave the ink on top of the vinyl, it will not be waterproof and weather resistant on top of fade resistant. Now, one thing about the Epson, using the sure color inks, you've got a 200 year fade guarantee on your inks. Now again, this is a professional grade printer. For those of you not using Epson Sure Color inks, if you do not use the proper overlaminate, let alone for just a weather barrier, you're going to find that your fading is going to happen much faster. That's why an overlaminate is a must. So again, you want your art to look the best, you want your clients to be happy, very simple money to make if you understand the concept that you do require a two-step process no different than painting which would be for painting a base coat and then a clear coat over a car's paint job or motorcycle is the same principle with the printing. You want your base coat, which is your actual uh, glossy substrate or whatever substrate you're going to be printing on, and then we go over it with a professional over laminate. And in our case, we prefer the 3M8518. Now, I don't have to tell you about the quality of 3M. And again, if I pan this camera just a little bit, you can easily see the color spectrum give you an idea of this printer's ink cartridges because we got asked this a lot too here's the difference look at the size of this this is just our light black and that shows you the size of this ink cartridge in comparison to my hand now many of you are never going to deal with an ink cartridge or a printer of this size but I can tell you right now it's very easy to pay for itself when you are printing uh, sheets this big this particular sheet in the printer right now is about 23 inches and it's printing uh, the equivalent of about $80 in graphics as you see it. Okay, so just keep that in mind when you think of getting involved with anything with graphics. As long as you've got the files, as long as you understand the concept of what you're doing right now, the way the economy is, you're always going to require graphics for numerous businesses to support or just personal use. So, again, if you guys have questions, please forward them over to Joanna and I. We'll, get our, we'll do our best to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you again. Take care.